14, we need to find a function that most closely matches this graph. So what you should notice here is that this looks like a tangent or cotangent graph. Uh, we have a period length of 2 pi, so remember that your standard period length for tangent and cotangent is pi. So we have double the period length, we're crossing through the origin, and we have asymptotes at odd multiples of pi. The other thing you want to notice is that this graph is falling. It's going from up to down in each uh, period. So there's a couple of things we can tell about this right away. Because it's this shape, downward like that, so we know that this is either going to be a cotangent graph or it's going to be a negative tangent graph. So remember, tangent graphs normally go up. So if we flipped it, it would look like that. Cotangent graphs normally go down, so if this is cotangent, it just might be shifted side to side. So we're either looking for so we're either looking for cotan or a negative tangent graph. So right away that can uh, you know get us a few answers out of the way. So it could be A uh, and and it could not be uh, B or C because that gives you negative cotangent and tangent. So we know that has to be cotangent or negative tangent. So then, let's think about what it would mean if it was either of those things. Now, if it was cotangent, cotangent normally starts off with an asymptote at zero. So this has been shifted if, the, if this is in fact a cotangent graph. So let's think about, uh, let's look at answer choice A. So answer choice A says we have cotan of x over 2 minus pi. Now the x over 2 part should make sense because, like I said at the beginning, we have double the period that we normally have, so there would have to be a 1 half in front of that. To find our phase shift, remember you always want to factor out the coefficient on the x, so we'd have 1 half in front, so that would give us x minus 2 pi. Okay, so the problem with that is that that means we are shifted 2 pi. But shifting 2 pi when you have a period of 2 pi doesn't do anything. You would just be shifting like to the next period in the graph and it would look the same. So that this one cannot be correct because our cotangent graph should normally have an asymptote right on the y-axis. So since this is shifted an entire period, if this were correct, then we would still have an asymptote on the axis, but we don't. So that tells us that A is going to be incorrect. We already eliminated B and C by just knowing that it had to be cotangent or negative tangent. So let's look at D. Alright, D says negative tangent of x over 2 minus pi. Again, let's put that in our standard form by factoring out the coefficient on the x. So we have negative tangent of 1 half times x minus 2 pi. <clears throat> okay, so let's think about what happens here. This is a tangent graph that's been flipped upside down. So far, so good. Uh, it has a period of 2 pi because it's 1 half. That's exactly what we should have. And this was shifted by an entire period, so basically this would look the same as if it was just tangent of 1 half x because we shifted it by an entire period anyway. Tangent normally does go through the origin. So this is set in the right position, or an entire period off, like we have here. So therefore, this one is going to be correct. Let me just show you why E is also incorrect. So for E, we have negative tangent of x over 2 minus pi over 2. If we do our factoring, that would give us negative tan of one half, we would have x minus pi. Since our period is two pi, this is saying that we would shift it by pi, and since tangent normally has, uh, normally goes through the origin, if we shifted this only over by pi, then we would have ended up having an asymptote uh, in the middle. So that's, that's why uh, this one is also wrong. So our correct answer there is uh, answer choice D.